Hello everyone, it's Trina here from there's a card for that .ca and today I'm going to be making this tag feature Easter card um, with the Easter party stamp set from Lawn Fawn. Uh, that stamp set came out, excuse me, this spring for the Easter release and when I saw it I was like, no, I don't really want it and then of course I'm going to want it. It's Lawn Fawn, right? <laughs> I can't resist. Like, even my next video gonna be a lawn fun. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I swear I have other I have other stamp sets. To start I'm going to cut out a tag with the tag your it stamp nope die set and I'm going to sponge the top of that with some tumbled glass and I know we talked about like two videos ago how it stayed juicy well now it's drying out again <laughs> and I haven't really used it. Um, I'm trying really hard to get a video for each of the cards I make so it's not like I'm secretly using it in between and it's just drying out and I'm like, ooh, conspiracy theory, right? But it's not. It's just, I don't know if maybe there's a crack underneath the sticker at the bottom, but whatever the reason. So I cut the bottom of a tag out of the pattern paper from one of the perfectly plaid sets and I am using my new simple grassy hills borders for cutting out the grass for that and along what's going to be the base of my card. I'm trying really, really, really hard to use pattern paper and I think so far I'm doing pretty okay. <laughs> I'm stamping the girl from the Easter Party stamp set with Memento Tuxedo Black ink on 110 pound Copic friendly cardstock because I'm going to color her in with Copics. I'm going to start with her dress, which I mean, she's a flower, so she's got to have a stem. Um, so I'm going to do her, grass, her dress <laughs> and her shoes green. Not her grass. That's not a thing. Could be a thing. It's not a thing here. Her dress. Her dress is going to be green. And this is my go-to green, YG17 and YG25. For the petals, I'm going with the my favorite pink combination and I didn't think this was going to be my favorite pink combination because it's kind of like a almost like a Victorian pink it's not like a bright pink or a soft pink it's like right in the middle um but the R85 83 and 81 I don't know maybe it's because that was my first real full pink Copic combination but it's it's really the one that I just keep going back to <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I would like brighter pinks. I have brighter pinks. Like, I've got bright pinks in there that I've never even touched. I just I just keep going back to this one. For her skin and her hair, um, this is the same combination I used before. Kind of on a, a dirty blonde kick, I guess. Um, for her skin, I'm using E11, E30, and then E50 with some R30 for her little cheeks. And then for her hair, I'm going to start with my E43, add my E42, and then I'm like, oh, there's not a lot of difference there at all. So I'm going to pull in that E44 just to give it a little bit of low light, give her some shine in the front. Everybody likes shiny hair. That's what all the shampoo commercials are about, right? <laughs> like, look at how shiny my hair is. Well, I do that with Copics. For the inside part of the flower, which I'm not sure what that's called, I'm going to go with yellows because I wanted it a bright springy color. So I cut her out and I know we had talked about in my frog video I didn't use the scanning cut because I wanted to fussy cut along the edges and so I've gotten a bunch of comments that the scanning cut will do that and I was like oh yeah it totally does do that well rolling with it now because <laughs> I knew that it actually took me longer to figure out how to leave that that little border than it did <laughs> just cut out the images. But then I got in such a habit of cutting out the images with the border so it looked like I had the coordinating dies that I just forgot that I can cut right along the edges of the scanning cut. Um, so I used a blue piece of the perfectly plaid paper for my sky. And then I adhered that down and the grassy area down with my dollar store tape runner. And then I'm going to adhere the girl down 
the same way. My original plan was to pop her up on foam tape, but I'm actually gonna pop up the tag with foam tape. And I didn't want too much dimension because I might actually mail this card. I don't know, it might happen. <laughs> Maybe I'll just, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing and like hoard all my cards. <laughs> Cause that's, that's usually how it works out. <laughs> like I like, I'm not kidding you, I have boxes. I have boxes of cards. And you know what I should do with them? I should probably donate them to like a senior center. That's probably a good idea. My friend volunteers at a senior center and I'm going to see if I can talk to her and I will get back to you. I will let you know if they will take my cards because I have so many Christmas ones from my Christmas series from series past long ago, like Ebenezer style. I'm the ghost of series past and I don't do anything with them because I have new designs every single year. So maybe I'll do that. Uh, the greeting I'm picking is from the same stamp set, and it says, wishing you a very happy Easter, and that could be spring or whatever, but I'm like, oh, I haven't really done any Easter cards for my Easter series, so this is one for my Easter series. And then I am taking some purple twine, and I know that there's no purple in here already, and I usually like to try and tie things in, but it's Easter, so it's kind of like a anything goes kind of holiday, right? Like you can use whatever colors you want together. And so I'm using purple because it's really bright. And it's like Halloween. Like who would really think of putting like lime green and grape purple together, except on Halloween with some orange and some black and it just looks fantastic, right? Any other time of year, you'd be like, ooh, what you doing? That's not okay. Uh, so I played around with this bow for a little while. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know if I wanted to wrap inside. In the end, I'm just using one of my DIY quick stick tools to put a micro glue dot just underneath the hole from the tag and I'm going to adhere that bow right on top. Like super simple, nothing fancy. And I'm going to trim those short and then I'm going to use my dollar store mounting tape. This is still the same roll from like videos long ago. Like this is what, the fourth, fourth, fifth video that I use this mounting tape in? Like it really does, it lasts forever. <laughs> it's so sticky. Uh, so you really, really gotta make sure it's lined up, right? And it wasn't my intention to have the grass from the tag and the grass from the background match up as well as it did. So there's no mistakes, right? Just happy accidents. And I was very excited. Then I thought, ooh, maybe I should bring in some Nouveau drops to tie that purple together. And I was like, no, no, I'm just, I'm just leaving the bow is the only purple thing here. And I'm going to add some pink and yellow Nouveau drops. Uh, I think it's dandelion yellow and carnation pink Nouveau crystal gloss drops. Um, just randomly over here and right there. <laughs> I got my finger in it. So luckily I didn't get my finger into the card because that happens, right? Like we've all done that, big smear across the card. Um, so then I'm here and I'm like, I'm tapping it down because it's, it's pretty cold in my craft room. So these get thick and then they don't like smooth over as well. And then I decided it's flower. And I mean, all my flowers have, have sparkle. They have to, and she's so cute. So I put some clear Wink of Stella over the petals. And then I'm going with the glossy accents. And I was a little bit concerned right here when I opened the glossy accents because it didn't want to flow very well out of that applicator that I was so happy about for the last week and a half, two weeks now, I don't know. Um, but it ended up going, like it just, just took a little bit longer. Maybe it was colder than usual in my basement because guess what, it's snowing here again. I'm so done with winter, so I just wanted a super fun, happy spring card just to make everybody happy, and look at how cute and happy she is. She does look a little bit lonely. I, lonely. I thought about flowers, but then I was like, no, she's just, she's just taking center stage. So that is the card for today. Thank you so much for watching and thumbs upping and subscribing and commenting. I really appreciate all of them, so if you haven't done them, please do them. I will have links to my Facebook page and my blog post down below. Have a great day. Bye!